So my father-in-law found this air compressor at a garage sale, and he told me that it was um, leaking air. So um, let's uh, just test it out here. Filling it up, we're gonna Yeah, it's definitely losing air. You can see the needle moving a little. So I am mixed a little bit of Dawn dish soap. Um, no, this video is not sponsored by Dawn. But uh, mixed a little bit of Dawn dish soap with some water. About 50-50 mix. And just kind of brushing it on all of these joints. just wherever we could find a leak. Yeah, you can see it's really lost air over the last five minutes. So at this point, I think it's leaking from the regulator. So I'm gonna bleed off the rest of the air. And now I'm removing the pressure regulator. Just to make sure that it's not leaking from any place else, I'm going to uh, put some Teflon tape on that stopper. And uh, now I'm installing the stopper. Recharging the air compressor. And it holds pressure. So now I'm disassembling the regulator. We're just going to take this apart and clean it up. Put some lubrication in it. So make sure you lay out your parts in the order they came out and, and in the orientation that they came out. You don't want to get them in upside down or backwards. So here I am removing this O-ring and I'm just going to clean up all these parts. There's an O-ring on this diaphragm. So I'm gonna lube up these O-rings with some plumber's grease. It's uh, plumber's silicone grease and just a thin amount. If you guys have something that's broken, uh, leave a note in the comment section and I could offer you advice or maybe even make a video on how to fix whatever you've got that's broken. If you like my content, click that like button. You don't want to get this o-ring caught in the threads so make sure it's all the way against the seat. Uh, that could cause a leak as well. And just a thin amount on the inside.
That looks good. And now for the other side. And disassemble. We have um, a spring with a rubber stopper. We're going to clean these parts up. And then put a little extra lubrication on them. There's also a little o-ring right here so let's put that together and then reassemble the entire assembly Some more Teflon tape. You guys can use pipe dope or um, Teflon tape. It doesn't really matter. Just want to make sure that you're not um, putting metal to metal. I'm going to show you guys what it looks like when there is an act actual air leak at, the, at a fitting. Brush some dish soap on. Again, this is a 50... 50 mixture, half dish soap, half water. Yeah, you can see that. Okay, and now assembling the air compressor again. Put the pressure regulator back on. We're going to hand tighten this up. You don't want to use a wrench. Um, these are pipe fittings, so they kind of expand. And if you if you use a wrench, you could actually crack the castings um, on either side. So just do a strong hand tight. Now I'm charging it up again, and it's holding pressure. It actually held pressure for 24 hours. It's still sitting at 100 psi.